Okay, so if you had just tuned in to see the minimal makeup, this is going to be your next step. So what I'm gonna do is just take this damp perfector sponge. It does have setting spray on it. One of the secrets about getting this damp is you go ahead and put it underneath water and you squeeze it out a bunch of times, probably like four or five, and then you just like blot it in a damp towel. And this way you can't wring any water out of it. Okay. So let's move on. Let's go ahead. We're going to do the next step, which is the cheetah hack. And what we're going to do is immediately start in with our contour. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to pop this onto my cheek. And this is what's going to give a little bit of a definition. You can come in a little bit further if you want to have just kind of like a little bit more. We're going to reduce the size of our forehead. We're going to slim our nose. And we're going to define our jawline. I call contour Spanx for the face all the time because that's exactly what it is. It just kind of helps slim and define and lift. For example, by doing this on your cheek, it's kind of like wearing a push-up bra. So it's pretty great, but contour can seem very scary. I mean, you're putting brown makeup all over your face. So when I was first seeing this for the first time, I'm like, that's gonna blend, really? And you don't even have to go ahead and take your brush in any way, shape, or form and like oh, like clean it, it's kind of great. So let's put a little bit underneath here so we can give our lip a little bit of extra love as well. I like to then go into my brightener color and I'm gonna pop in like this into my T-zone. This is all the areas that come forward. So you're just gonna kind of take this and brighten everything up. I'm gonna take the corner of my eyes just like this and then we're gonna do a lift on the outside. So don't take your makeup and drag it all the way down. That is an older way of doing underneath eye brightener. But you can take this and brighten across your forehead if you wanna have a little bit extra right there. Here's a little trick if you've been doing your makeup for a while, take a little bit of your brightener and pop it underneath your contour for just like an extra little secret lift. Okay, I'm gonna take my main color and I'm basically filling in all of the dots. It's kind of like a paint by number. This becomes a really easy thing. Once you have everything in front of you, once you know your colors, I walk you through the whole thing. So you're not left trying to figure out what's going on. You know, you're not gonna be totally alone. I'm gonna use more of this black cherry right here. We're just gonna pop some right here, right over. It also shows that this is buildable. If you watch the first minimal amount of makeup, you can take that and walk out of the house like super fast, easy, you can do it in your car, it's perfect for your gym bag. Sometimes you just need to have a little bit of coverage, but you don't wanna go full blown. This would be like level two. This is your cheetah hack, level two. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take the 3D brush. I like this side right here because it does have an angle to it. And we're just gonna start blending. You're gonna see I go back and forth between stippling and sort of not really swiping, but maybe like swirling, maybe swiping. But there's that contour. You can see it just kind of provides a little shadow right there. That way when you send a selfie to your boyfriend, he'll be like, hey, look at that. It looks like you lost five pounds, right? It's your contour. Your contour can be your best friend. I mean, if you're gonna take a selfie, why not have the best makeup? It almost looks like it's a filter on your face without being a filter, because filters change your face, right? So this is like, put your best foot forward. But for me, if I'm gonna have makeup put, put on my face, I just want it to be able to last to my lifestyle. I don't wanna have to touch it up. I want it to blend in. I want it to be fast. I want it to look good. I don't want it to cake in my fine lines and wrinkles. And the fact that it's just fun to apply and quick and easy, honestly, those are just perks. Like, so crazy. Don't let this dot method overwhelm you. Like I said, once you know your colors and you have them in person, it just makes it so much easier. I send you a how-to video. You are never alone. So you can just think of me like I'm your beauty BFF. You're never alone because that's the worst part. You go to the store, you buy all this stuff, and then you're like, okay, so now what? <laughs> you don't have to worry about that here. Can you see how quick and easy this side blends? You'll hear me say this time and time again. It's like a broken record, but 
when it sits on your skin just a little bit longer, it just blends even easier. This stuff just like melts into your skin like butter. There you go. Just go ahead and take that sponge again. You don't even have to respray it. Unless your house is really dry, you don't have to respray it. All you're doing now is just making sure you don't have too much makeup on your face. So I kind of focus very much around my eyes like this, around my nose and around my mouth, but I'm pressing. So I'm not swiping, but I'm pressing. I'm going quickly, but you will get to that point too. But basically all I'm doing is pressing like that. It's just pressing the makeup in. It's setting it with the setting spray and it's making sure you don't have too much makeup on. So this is what you would call the cheetah hack. Hack stands for highlight and contour. And that is the quickest and fastest way that you can get out the door by putting makeup on your face, by having everything. And it just blends. Like I said, if I sit back, it just blends so, so natural. Like it doesn't even look like you have anything on your face and you go ahead and touch it, go about your day. Your makeup is gonna look like this hours and hours later.